Our discussion this week focuses on building up our base coat with brighter and more vibrant colors. Stay tuned. What up, many people? Once upon a time, an infinitely more talented painter than I said that painters work in light and shadow, not color. If last week was us working in shadow, this week is us beginning our journey working with light. This video we take a look at highlighting, and since highlighting is such a broad category in miniature painting, we're going to hone in on it and look at what I like to call layering. Layering is the concept of selectively building up our base tone in areas where light would be stronger with brighter and more vibrant colors. Imagine a person with a light source coming from the top. The closer the light is, the stronger the highlights and the stronger the shadows are. The more you pull the light away, the more diffused the light becomes and the softer the shadows become. What are you trying to accomplish with your miniature? Something that's worth repeating about acrylic paint is that it has a translucent property. We explored this in the base coating video. Depending on how watered down your acrylic paint is, more or less of that color will show through. This is a very important feature to remember about acrylic paint, especially when layering, because our goal is to gradually build up brighter and brighter colors, and we're able to blend that more easily due to the translucency of acrylic paint. Let's take a look at how layering may apply to a Blood Angel Space Marine who just was base coated and washed. As you can see, the wash has left an ugly coffee stain like finish. We want to mask this by layering over the wash with the original base tone. Since this is a beginner video, we want attempts to blend the shade and the base coat as blending it can be quite difficult. All we want to do is cover up the wash stain line. We don't want to cover all of the shade, obviously. We want to maintain that nice definition of the shade provided. If you mess up and paint over some wash you wanted to keep, just reapply the wash in that area. We then take a brighter color, in this case something like 50-50 Mephiston Red and Evil Sun Scarlet, and apply it in the same way, except this time we take care to only apply it over some of our base tone, keeping in mind where we want the light to fall on our miniature. If you need help figuring out where to place the brighter layer of paint, think back to our realistic demo. If a strong light source was coming down from above, where would the shadows and highlights fall? Additionally, we also watered down this layer slightly more than the base coat because we want a little bit more translucency. I am personally trying to avoid obvious transitions between the base coat and this new layer to avoid a cell shaded borderland style look. Naturally, light leaves perfect gradients, and I'm trying to sort of emulate reality. But there are no rules, so if you want your minis to look like Claptrap, go for it. Now, there really is no end to this process. You could keep building up brighter and brighter layers more gradually. It all depends on how much time you want to take on your miniatures. If you're struggling to find a color that would be appropriate to highlight your base tone with, don't be afraid to mix a little bit of white with your original base tone. This doesn't always work out, but can save you in a pinch. Our minis are really starting to come to life with the addition of a second layer of paint. With this new knowledge, go forth and enhance the light of your miniature by applying a highlight layer. And this brings us to our community highlight time. This week, we have even more Space Wolves. A 3 is bringing the winter vibes with a ton of HQ. Neol Stormcaller, Krom, a Rune Priest, and a Kit Bash Psyker. I would not want to face this guy in the battlefield. Better painted minis roll better and I would get smoked. If you know a mini man or woman that could benefit from this information, please share this video with him or her. If you enjoyed the content of the video, please like it. 
If you want to see more mini related content, don't forget to subscribe. And most importantly, don't forget to paint more minis.